This video is just a quick video to show you how to test a fuel injection or injector pump solenoid. Um, I took this out of the skid steer to make sure that uh, this was working properly. To, we were having a hard time getting it cranked and I just want to make sure that I eliminate the fact that the, um, the fuel injector solenoid is the problem. So on this specific fuel injector solenoid, the unit itself is the ground. So once you screw this solenoid into the fuel injector pump, it automatically starts to be a part of the ground because it's attached to the engine and so forth. So all it has is a single prong sticking out the back and this uh, prong is wired into the ignition of the skid steer. So when you turn the key, you should hear a click, or in this case you won't because it's pretty buried down into the engine away from the cab on this skid steer, but you should usually hear a click when you turn the key on a skid steer. Like on my John Deere, I hear it right away when I, when I turn the key. But this is to show you how to test it. So all I've got here is a battery. Uh, here's the negative terminal, the positive terminal. Again, the unit itself is grounded to the motor. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna set it beside this battery. Here, I'll put it in this little groove. And I'm gonna come over here with the positive cable. So I'm just gonna come in here and, and put the wire into this uh, screw in section here. And I'm just gonna snug it down just enough to make sure I got a good connection. It doesn't take a lot of amperage to make this uh, solenoid work. So now um, the wire is snug in there. So this is the positive terminal. Again, it goes to the positive leg coming out of the solenoid. Now what should happen is when I touch it to the negative, that pin that's there should come in. It should go inside. Basically what happens is that pin comes out when there's no power and it turns the fuel off. It pushes a bar inside of this fuel injector pump and turns off the fuel. Now, when there is power though, so see how the pin went inside? I let it off, the pin comes out, it grounds, pin goes in. And you can see the spark there. But anyway, so this basically would be fuel shut off, fuel running. And uh, that is how you tell if your solenoid is properly working. I hope this helps. Anyways, that's how you test it. The solenoid's good. Thanks, everyone. If this video helped, please subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. Please like the video. Uh, all that helps the channel. Thanks, everyone.